Uh, Jim once said, if you can't find a way to really enjoy what you're doing, why do it? Welcome everyone, Michelle here at Comic Candy News, checking in at the Comic Bug with my friends over at Loaf. They put on this amazing art show for Jim Henson's tribute. Yes, now and I'm Cucumber, and she always forgets to introduce me. Oh, I'm sorry. You're really not. I really am sorry. <laughs> You're sorry, it would only happen once. <laughs> it won't happen again! Fine. Okay. Well, Brett, can you tell us a little bit about Loaf? Uh, yeah, Loaf is the League of Artistic Friends, and uh, we started out as a group to, to help promote independent artists of all levels, uh, and we wanted to do something in the South Bay, because uh, you know, we've taken part in other shows in Los Angeles, Pasadena, Anaheim, and uh, just never anywhere near our home. So we, oh. uh, we wanted to bring something out here and you know, bring some art to, to the area. So we're here in Manhattan Beach. Very awesome. And now why Jim Henson and the Muppets? Uh, we were tossing around ideas for our first show, and uh, we kind of, this was one of the things was Jim Henson that was on our list, and we just kept coming back to it. And uh, we were like, we just were saying, you know, we really just love this. And he's such a creative genius, and uh, I grew up, you know, really inspired by it, and I'm a, I'm a big Gonzo fan, so. Yes! Uh, Gonzo's yeah. the best! All right. All right. Whatever. Yes. Bump. Boom. Oh. And who is your favorite Muppet? My favorite Muppet is Fozzie Bear, and that's why I did his piece, The Falling Tomato. Awesome, and who, so you got Gonzo. What about you, Cucumber, who's your favorite? Uh, I actually also love Gonzo, because oh, he is a I proud weirdo, much like myself. It's the only way to be. <laughs> that yes. is true. So we, we feel we had a really good turnout, like good variety of art, all sorts of different media. And we're re really proud that this, this turned out the way it did. And we're very excited to be here, right, Cucumber? Always. Yes, so we're going to go ahead and check out all the other artists mm -hmm. and see what's up. Right. Yes. Um, my favorite Muppets, I love like all of it, but I have to say that I love Red from um, Fraggle Rock. So I did a picture of her up here uh, with her little radishes because she's always trying to steal the radishes and just thought she was pretty neato. All right, hi everybody. Uh, this is Cucumber from Comic Candy News and I'm here with, what was your name again? Allie Fan, and I represent Fan Alley. Oh great, uh, what can you tell me about Fan Alley? Um, we're a shop and we sell for um, artists from oh, US and makers. So anytime you buy from us, you're buying Really rad, awesome new stuff. Straight from the artist. That's great. Yeah. That's so cool. Well, thank you so much. Mm, bye. She has my favorite thing so far, and they're these awesome knocker earrings from The Labyrinth, my favorite movie. Um, I made this piece with the junk lady so from Labyrinth. Because um, I wanted to do something that was actually a Muppet rather than just David Bowie, like, you know, there's always that temptation. Um, and then I did the drawing, and I just started playing around with clay and thought, well, I should do a junk frame to go with the junk lady. My, uh, my eyes aren't so good, but uh, what does it say on the book? It says, um, What's the matter? Don't you like your toys? <laughs> Which is what the yes. next lady said. That is so here. perfect. I love her. She's so good. <laughs> Mike Collins US. Now, you did the Buffett Caper piece, I yes. believe? Very awesome, and that is your favorite movie. It is, it is. Now, what inspired you to join us for this art show today? Uh, truthfully, I'm a friend of Jove and Brett's, but also I love Jim Henson. Uh, he was, uh, as, as a creative personality, a, a very heavy influence for me in my life. Uh, I grew up surrounded by posters that my parents had framed in our house of the Muppets and uh, we watched the Muppet show and the Muppet movie and the great Muppet caper and and so it's just always been uh, Jim Jim's influence has been very heavily felt in my life Debbie's booth 
where she has some awesome products that she's selling. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Uh, I am the creator of Dr. Hogan Berry's Extraordinary Emporium of Genre Jewelry. That's the name of my business. That is a and fabulous is. mouthful. I love it. So since this is a Muppet show, who is your favorite Muppet? Uh, I think I'd have to say Pepe. Pepe, King Pepe Prawn. Pepe the Prawn. I got to see him at Comic-Con this year in San Diego, and it was a thrill. I am wow. a little yeah, bit he's jealous. Funny. He is really, really funny. And what is your favorite uh, Muppet movie? My favorite Muppet movie? Uh, I have a really soft spot for Emmett Otter, and I love Labyrinth. Labyrinth is my favorite. Have you ever been to the Masquerade? I have not. I've heard a lot about it, but I've never been. You need to go. I was just Will you telling. Will you a costume for next year? Absolutely. We'll get you a mask and everything. I'm, don't cover this beauty. I'm sorry. We thinking? won't cover your face. <laughs> not happening. We'll make you the Goblin King instead. Yeah. Yes. Here we go. Okay. Puff this up all huge. It's going to be great. Yes. Yeah, we'll dye it blonde. <laughs> um, yeah, come on. Come okay. On. okay. Just, all right. Yeah. I'll do it for you. And then, and then we'll get a crystal ball. Yes. And you can hold the crystal ball. All right. And, right. You know, do the whole David Bowie. Yeah. I think you, I Sarah. Think you, yeah. yeah kind of like that. You, yeah, because you remind me of the babe. What babe? The babe with the power. What power? The power of voodoo. Voodoo? You do. Do what? Remind me of the babe. <laughs> well? Well, yeah, cucumber. Yes. Uh, did you enjoy the show? I did. I loved it. Look at, I mean, look at all this stuff. How could you not? There was a lot of great artwork, a lot of great artists as well. There's so much talent here and a lot of love. And a lot of inspiration as well. Mm-hmm. So thanks again for joining us, and we'll see you guys You're next time. You're welcome. Thank you, Cucumber. You're welcome. I do love and you very much. And thank you for remembering my name this time. Always I and forever. I appreciate it very much when you actually remember my name. Cucumber. Yes. yes. Three syllables. Get so difficult for you. It really is. Yeah. I'm One more sorry. time. Let me hear it. Let me hear it. I love you, Cucumber. Oh, ooh, I gotta love you, too. All right. <laughs> <laughs>